Hello, salads. I do hope you well. Salads. Ah, oh, instead of lads, she says salads. Hey, salads. It's vegan gaze here, and a shock horror. We're gonna look at some vegan memes. I'm here to surprise you. I'm here to throw you off. I'm here to do new, innovative things. And this is just one of those things. Found the vegetarian. Dairy worker arrested after bathing in milk for TikTok video. You ever just look at something you're like, grow up? <laughs> the things people do for TikTok are just ridiculous. I just respond to silly comments on there. Follow me over there. Imagine still thinking animal cultivation is okay after what we've seen this year. <laughs> have omnis. This uh, mink situation. Oh, it's pretty situation, isn't it? This is being talked about quite a lot, especially in the animal rights community, but not enough with the general population who are directly affected by this virus. No, I don't know how we're not learning. Why is it, why is it not going through our brains? And here's a beam that perfectly suits this issue. Bird flu, MDR bacteria, swine flu, mad cow, COVID-19, meat industry. <laughs> Let's kill the minks. That all fix it. It's not as if we're being given a stark lesson and we're, we're not learning from it and it's probably gonna come bite us in the ass again. No, that is not what's happening. Don't think for a second that is what's, it's not. Just wanted to share my vegan meal. Look at that. Look at that grass. That is a nice shade of grass. And here, again, grass. I'm seeing some green. See? Bloody vegan. So typical. I give that a like. That's cute. And now I'm hungry. Me, the day I went vegan. Maybe I am a monster. <laughs> now I'm getting a Gabby Hanna memes in my head. <laughs> what if I'm the monster? What if I'm the monster? <laughs> oh no. Make him go away. What if I'm the monster? You find as you grow older, and maybe I'm too young to say this, and you'll just roll your eyes. I feel growing older that you find there's, it's not so much about what good you can do. <laughs> it's about getting all the bad things that you've been conditioned to do and undoing them. That's a lot of being a good person, it's not just doing good things, it's like completely unlearning so much. <laughs> because our default for training you up, training you up to be a, a, a good solid adult is just not good enough, it's not up to standard. So I think quite a few times while you're maturing as a person, you have those moments of like, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm not that great. Maybe I've been doing something really awful for a while and I need to fix that right away. Uh, that's a good sign of someone growing up, I think. Got a lot of people going around the world right now, doing bad things to people, doing bad things to animals, and, you know, still acting as if they've not really done anything all that bad. Um, they are very childish people and I beg and gag for the day that <laughs> they grow up and um, have that realization that not only maybe I am a monster, but maybe I should change that. That's, that's, a, that's the important bit, all right? You can't just be like, maybe I do suck, and then just rub with that, <laughs> okay? And you can't do it because I said so, okay? Vegans say, I don't want to contribute to animal cruelty. So a random omni says, and I took that personally <laughs> every frick in the time. Just found out I have celiac disease and can't eat gluten, so to simplify my diet, I will be adding some animal products back in. Just kidding. I'm not a selfish asshole. Mm. That said, if anyone has any tips for gluten-free vegan life, please, for the love of God, share with me. I'm pretty anxious about all of this. So all of these posts will be put in the comment section down below. Um, so that you can link to them if you'd like to. So if you have any cool tips for this person, then yeah, let me know. The mythical Uncle Stary Farm. I just need to say quickly, <laughs> I said in one of my videos a little while back, oh, I don't get this Uncle's Farm thing. Okay, I totally did. All right, my brain was just storing that information from me. It's hiding it in the moment. And I feel silly about that because Uncle's Farm is a huge meme. But let's find out about this person and their uncle's farm. My uncle's farm just got a huge upgrade and they treat them like queens now. Crazy new fancy machines that massage the cows and the cows come 
in only when they want to get milk and it analyzes their milk production and adjusts their diet accordingly to make them healthy and produce the most milk. The machines wash the enclosure automatically and clean the cow's udders thoroughly after milking. The milk barn is temperature controlled and everything. The cows honestly have a better life than me. Yeah, they must be loving life with their babies being taken from them. That must be really good. And not only that, but once they no longer milk, they are going to be killed at a fraction of their lifespan. So doesn't make it okay. Doesn't matter if you took all of my money burdens away from me, made me feel like a queen and looked after me, but then killed me at 30. Like, so what if I live a better life than you? It doesn't mean you can exploit me and then kill me. We're gonna treat you great. Just that one thing, we, we are gonna take the babies from you <laughs> and kill you early. Oh, and, and we make that choice on your behalf. Yeah, so. <laughs> ah, compassion fatigue. Right, what's that then? I just stop caring and feel bad about it at the same time. I'm doubting veganism. I've been vegetarian for 10 years and vegan the last almost four years. I kind of stopped caring and ate cake and ice cream when people offered. Now I'm craving cheese, which has never happened before. I still think I'll never eat meat again, but I'm feeling embarrassed about going vegetarian. Anyone feel the same? They're, they're under an like, ex-cult member. Goodness gracious, this is gonna be a really good uh, take, isn't it? I experienced the same thing. I went into veganism, doing activism, watching all the documentaries, and caring too much about the rest of the world consuming animal products. Eventually you burn out and experience compassion fatigue because of the constant preoccupation with the oppression of animals. I also eventually realized that there's an ethical way to consume animal products. And being vegan doesn't mean you're morally or ethically better than an omni. I told myself I'd be vegetarian, then I agreed to be pescatarian and avoid land animals. And eventually I started consuming all animal products but pork due to health reasons. <laughs> oh man, I thought that would be a bad take, but it was just a mess. Compassion fatigue. I like that. I wonder if a lot of people who like that term like it because it can make them seem that by default, they're this wonderful, brilliant person. In fact, they are so compassionate and wonderful that they burn out. Like they're that compassionate, they're that good of a person, they're that much better than you. They physically cannot continue to be compassionate at times. So I'm sure that term makes you feel really, really good. I do totally get it, like things happen in your life and they, they make you like less patient than you were, for example, you know, stuff's happened to me recently and you know people have uh you know harmed me and made me feel like almost like why should I care um you know when others do not care about me but fundamentally you know I, I would be a bit less patient have a bit less time for people in my head um but when it comes to something like veganism animals haven't done anything to me they're not some horrible person who's just decided to be selfish and mess me about like that they're not there that's not their fault that's that person they did that the animals didn't so why should i take it out on them we're constantly taking out you know other people's burdens on others and it's just it just doesn't make any sense it's not a good idea and it just continues the cycle where we're just taking things out on those who don't deserve it. That's not compassion fatigue. That's just you being very inconsiderate and selfish towards those who don't deserve it. That's you not addressing problems that you're having in your life. That's you not actually taking that pain and dealing with it properly. I've got this specific incident, I've got it, and I, I've tried my very best to, to deal with it heads on. And it's meant that I've channeled the, uh, you know, the pain and the, 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 the bad feelings that have come from it and I won't let it go anywhere else. I, I, I'm trying to make sure of that and I think that's really, really important that we do that uh, in order to become better people. Um, because I just, this compassion fatigue thing, yeah, I, I, do, I do understand it, I do. Um, but I think it's misdirected, it doesn't make sense, it's not fair and then you're contributing to, you know, just an all round bigger mess. So you know, find the things in your life that are wearing you out, that are really like harming you, um, and just bring it down a notch, like address them better. And remember that no matter how you're feeling, you know, the animals haven't done anything to you. They've not done anything to you at all. So, so what are you playing at? Sorry to go off, I just, that sometimes things are said and Maybe it's because I just overanalyze everything. Um, but I just see like 
how that would manifest in other behaviors and i see those kind of like little things as massive problems um when they are you know applied to other aspects of people's lives so it just sets me off easily my new favorite ice cream netflix and chilled what even is in a netflix and chilled peanut butter with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownie Okay, so everything bad. For God's sake, we could get a vegan ice cream named after a streaming platform. So like, oh, what? We're, there's, there's plenty of selection. We're, we're, we're living the dream up here. That's all I'm gonna do. I think thank you once again to Vegan Circle Jerk for giving me mm, just such wonderful content to play with. If you like these videos, then please do me a favor, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you are here till the end, I want to know about it, so I want you to comment the very thing that's coming on screen now, just so I can test. <laughs> just so I can test who, who's still here. Don't forget that you can order a salad t-shirt, just so that everyone can know that you are indeed a salad. And if they're looking at your chest for any reason, you know, your pecs looking good, my dear, are they? You can let them know that you are indeed a salad. Please make sure that you are subscribed. Pull that bell notification. That helps out as well. And uh, please do give this video a like. Anyway, I do hope you're well. Don't forget to be a salad and not just a salad. There's a difference. I do hope you're well. And until next time, I will see you soon. What's going on, salads? Good work, vegan gays. Hey, go, go check out vegan gays. She's chucking up videos. She's quite quirky and good logic there vegan guys great work keep up the great work